Hi, welcome to Simply Scrapping. My name is Narelle and thank you so much for tuning in today and watching this video. What I have for you is a layout using cuts, um, what are they called? Cut files. Oh my gosh, where's my brain? Um, I'm playing along with 31 days of cut files uh, hosted by MK Gun and Janet Fritz and um, I'm not playing every day um, because I have a love-hate relationship with cut piles. <laughs> some days I love them, some days I hate them. This is one, it took me four days to get this cut pile together and backed because it was very daunting and I just walked away several times because I was frustrated. But I got it done in the end, so I thought I would do a layout with it. So obviously, going by my photos, the topic is ice cream. So I have a life is better with ice cream cut apart. And this one is what drove me over the edge with the uh, backing of it and it's really rough in places because I had to use an exacto knife to get into some places and it I yeah wasn't happy with it but it's done and I'm going to use it so <clears throat> sorry I do have I'm coming down with a cold I think my husband decided to share it with me so that's my heading life is better with ice cream and then I have this really cool ice cream cut apart uh, no, I want to call it cut apart. It's a cut pile. Um, and this one was easier to back, except when I uh, created this cut pile, I really put too small a um, edge on it. So it was really hard to back it. it. had to be really precise. And again, I had issues with it, but it was a lot easier than the heading. Um, and it actually tore because it is quite delicate. It tore here, but I sort of glued it back together. So hopefully that will be okay. Now I've used the same four patterned papers in the heading as I have the ice cream. There's one extra in the heading. Um, if I did it again, I would change it to be the same as what is under the life. But I decided to use that one anyway. Doesn't matter. Um, and... This is all done with scraps, so all the papers are scraps that I had in my um, bag of scraps and I just picked out yellow and green to go with the ice creams and I even, um, on this day, we went to an ice creamery near where we used to live and it's Italian gelato and it's absolutely stunning. We love it. Well, we've now moved, you know, a thousand odd kilometers away, so we can't go there anymore. But it's absolutely gorgeous ice cream. And on this day, my nails, I had um, the wraps on and they had little ice creams on them. So I went, I've got to take a photo of how my nails, even the colours, match the ice creams. So anyway, that are the photos. So the scraps I have left over from backing the cut files, I'm going to try and use to create the design of the page. I have a rough idea, I think, of what I want to do. Now my other embellishments for the page are uh, just a couple of these little food trucks that I've stamped out and it is from an old Stampin' Up! stamp set Tasty Trucks and this was a celebration one at one time and it came, the truck has nothing on it, it's just a truck so you add, you know, the flags and in the window you put whatever it is you want for the theme that you want so I stamped the tiny little ice cream here I put one on top and then three in the windows. So I have two of those and I don't think I'm going to color them. I want them just to be black and white. I also have some more little ice creams that I stamped and I'm not sure if they're going to make it onto the page. We'll see. These are from the Broadway birthday stamp set and that's the cone and the ice cream topper. Now there are dies um, for this but they cut out the ice cream cone and the top are separate and I just wanted to stamp them as the one unit and then I just fussy cut them around and there was no die for the truck um, so I just fussy cut that as well so I've got green and yellow ice cream cones stamped in daffodil delight and granny apple green so they are my embellishments so the theme color scheme is very simple simple yellow green black and white so, um, and this is going to be a little bit different, I think, to what I've done recently, because if you've noticed, if you've been following along um, with my page, you will know that I've had a few days break where I haven't posted anything. And that is because 
I was looking at, oh, hang on, I don't want to move something to get to my trimmer. Oh, I was looking at my pages recently and I haven't been completely happy with them. And I think um, I had inadvertently changed my style to try and match um, or to fit in with other hops and things and it I wasn't really happy with a lot of my pages um to my mind I thought they looked really ugly and I just I wasn't happy at all so I thought I need to stop and reevaluate what it is um that I am doing and think about my style I used to do. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out um, how I'm going to make these papers work because I don't have the full 12 by 12 length. So um, I may pause in what I'm doing. So um, yeah, I had to rethink what it was I have been doing and I haven't been happy with what I've been doing. So I'm going to, I think, go back to what I used to do. Uh, which were simpler, oh that's not straight, um, much simpler, um, less fussy pages, um, like I've never really been a huge fan of the multimedia, I will still do it occasionally, but I was sort of heading that way into doing that, those sort of pages and it, it's not me, so that's probably why I wasn't happy with how they were coming out. All right, so I'm just going to, oh, that is crooked. Is it? No, maybe it's just bent. Is it that that's crooked? I don't know, I thought they looked straight. So um, I'm going to change sort of my style a little bit. All right, so what I'm doing here is I am just mirroring one side to the other but making them smaller. Now my black and white, that's all I have of this paper. <laughs> so I have to make this stretch. So I'm just going to do a half an inch strip and I'm hoping it's going to be covered, the join is going to be covered by the photos so I hopefully can get away with it. And I think I can fit one more in there. Perfect. I'm going to cut that from the top. Yeah. So anyway, that's why I had a few days break. I was like, I need to rethink what I'm doing because I'm not happy with what I'm doing. So that to me means it's time for a change. All right. So, and then I just want one in the middle and I don't know if it's going to be covered by the photos. So let's bring the photos back in. And I'm going to have I think I want the photos angled, which means that is fine there. And then oh, I need to leave room for my heading so that you're gonna to have to go up higher. Now I want to put the ice cream in the middle. Oops, my life is better is going to go down here. Life is better with ice cream, isn't it just? And then I wanted, this truck is going to go down here. I know it's facing off the page, um, but the title won't work on this side. But I'm going to pop one up here though. So I'm going to cover most of that black and white on this page. You're not going to see it, so let's change our truck to this side and then I want to put up here I want them there no, I, don't, I don't want to cover up that black, black and white now I don't know if I'll put them over here 
a row in the corner. And these ones, you can make a little Or do I just put them down here by themselves? Maybe, I don't know, they look odd down there by themselves. Could I put them under the food truck? Move the food truck up a little bit over the photo. Um, maybe, I'm not so sure about them. All right, so let's just get the papers down and then I can fiddle with the embellishment. Something might um, gel in my head before I get to that stage. I decided to leave a little border of the base page before the patterned paper. I don't know why, just me. Right, I'm trying to line this up. They are the same length, so let's try and do this proper. Oh, I nearly went off that piece of paper then. Goodness. Well, this is a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to overlap it a little. <clears throat> oh, so sorry. I have the mother of all sore throats coming on. I can feel it right now. <laughs> so if I disappear again for a few days, you will know why. Okay. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I mean, if I could pick it up. Right, now, I believe I had that at the same length as that yellow. And I know this is longer than I need, but it is going to be covered by the photo, so I'm not going to worry about it. Just got to make sure that the um, that they join up. One continuous line, and then this one over here. Sort of in the middle. Alright, so now I'm actually going to get my removable glue. Oh, sorry. To put these on in case I don't get them in the right spot the first time. Oh, and this thing wants to keep jamming up. Now, I had them, do I have them, whoops, wait a minute, do I have them straight, or I had them angled, didn't I? Not that I can hear you telling me what to do, but I'm thinking, alright, we'll try it. 
try that one there. And we'll try this one here. Just need to leave enough room for that um, big, big title. <clears throat> All right, life is better with ice cream. And then this can go there to cover that in the middle. Yes, okay, I like that. You can't see a lot of that black and white now. I covered that, but I don't know how to get around that. What if I do this? But then I've got like a stripe there. I don't like that. I don't want to cover my fingers too much. I'm going to have to go with that. Okay. Those photo placements are going to work, so now I'm just going to glue them properly in place because that um, tape is removable, so it's not going to last forever. Just moved on me. Now, were you there? Yeah, I think you were there. Close enough. You will do. So I've already backed the photos on white and then black. And I couldn't tell you what these papers are from that I've used because, like I said, they were in my scraps. But I have so many scraps. I need to start using them. Right, you are going to go there at an angle. Not too much of an angle because I don't want to gap showing. Alright, so you are there. Right, now <clears throat> we'll put this one on. Life is better. I could actually, could I put that over here a little bit? Um, these I could add a few there. Oh, perfect. That fills that little gap. So, photo, please stick. Do I want this on dimensionals? I don't think so. This is going to be going over the photo. Let's see what happens. Alright, I'll put the is in first. That's straight. Right, a few little things I don't like about this. I've got this down a little bit too far. I've got this weird photo angle there under that. So I am thinking that I may need to put in an ice cream under that because I can see the corner of that photo and that just looks really odd. Like the photo mat. So if I just pop in it's gonna have to do
okay and the the ears is up a little bit higher but that's okay we can uh, fix that Gonna fill that little gap there if it wants to stick. And now this doesn't want to stick because it's in the middle. So we'll put quite a bit of glue there to get that down. Then I want my truck here. I'm gonna have to put out an angle because the photo is angled. And then this one here, I'm sort of I need something up here. Could I do these three up here? I think I need something in that corner. Now I did have banners here. Could I do a banner up there in... So these are the other scraps that I've got scraps I have left. Um, what one did I use? There's the stripe that I used on the is. I could bring that in and make a couple of banners. I'm not going to use the dies. So just let's just make our own little flags. And then this one maybe. Right, let's uh, make a few little banners for there. just even this paper up so it's more of a square when I want to use it next time it's got an orange edge Let's trim that off I'm not measuring I'm just going to trim And see what we can come up with. They are both crooked. Right, so. this back in and what I'm thinking oh my gosh my fingers don't want to work is that I could do some banners up there let's put the yellow one in the middle and then I could it could be a base my ice creams. I don't know if it's going to work. The yellow one may be too short for the ice creams. Yeah, I need a longer yellow one. And I will do the tails on them, but I need to make sure it covers the... That might work. Now, 
work out how long they need to be. Okay, so I like sort of that distance apart. Right, this is very technical measuring here. Are they too long? They're probably too long. Alrighty, so let's trim a bit more off. Alright, I'm happy with that. Okay, so just going to cut our little tails into them. One looks crooked. Okay, so does the yellow one. They all look crooked. Did I cut them all that crooked? Oh well, never mind. If I hang them off a little bit, then I can turn it over from the back and straighten them. Yeah, okay. I sort of, I think I want to move them across. I want to cover up the end of that black and white. Have I made them too short now? Oh, here we go. Merry go round. Far out. Yeah. Oh, right. Let's see what happens. I think I might have to cut another yellow one. I do think that's going to be too short. I'm throwing things away. That is too short now. Okay. So I'm going to cut it here. It's probably the same length, isn't it? Oh, it is. My goodness. Right, it's going to have to do. Right, I'm just going to stick you on. <laughs> on the outside of the paper, it's so pretty. Okay, so now I just want to put my little oh, I could actually just do it over here so it's not so and I'm covering one, aren't I? Wait, I have to get these right. I think that's going to work. So I am going to tape the back of them so they don't move. Okay, that works okay. I don't like the end of the tail of that one sticking out, so we're just going to give him a little trim. And I think that will work. You can still see that that is a yellow tail. And I'll just put more tape on the back of this to glue it down.
but I haven't stuck them on yet, have I? No. All right, there we go, our three little ice creams. Now, that's good, I've got something in that corner. Stick on our little trucks, and I didn't bring over any um, gems or anything to add, so I will go and get some of them. Yeah, I like them not colored. I think there's enough already green and yellow everywhere on this page that these are a nice neutral. I'm gonna tuck it there. Go for his driving straight and not up a hill. All right, I'm gonna go get some gems to add. Okay, so I've got opal rounds here. So I've got like a slightly yellow look to them. One I've tried to color. So I think these might work. They've got that sort of um, iridescent type of look to them. All the one size though, they are quite big. But it's okay. Where do I put this one? There? No. Well, I've got a three there. That might do it. Ice cream cone sticking up. He needs to have some glue on him. Oh my gosh, I love a new glue. Oh, it doesn't want to come out or it comes out in a big blob. Oh, oh okay. So three, three and three with my opal rounds. And that is it. I'm calling that done. Life is better with ice cream that's cool and it was all all the embellishing except for the white actual um cut out cut outs oh i've got glue all over that one except for the white cutouts the rest of it was all scrap the black even was a half sheet of black cardstock in my scraps um the stamping was all done on scrap white cardstock so the only thing that wasn't a scrap was the, the two cutouts and they were cut from a full piece of 12 by 12 white, as is the base. Um, but the everything else is a scrap. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Have a scrap happy day. Bye bye.